All right, the first half of our 174 pound final, third seeded Carter Storacci of Penn State. He picks up a 2 0 decision over second seeded Demetrius Ramiro of Utah Valley. Carter, congratulations on your win. How do you feel about that match? Thank you. Um, it feels good. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, you want to score more points and get more team points for the team, but you just got to get to win sometimes. We've got questions queued up for you. Uh, Nate Cobbler, Daily Center Times, go ahead. Hey, Carter, um, you know, Coach Sanderson uh, compares the uh, Southern scuffle to the, uh, like a pre, pre-workout, uh, I guess you could say, for the national tournament. You obviously won that last year. Did, it, did you kind of have that feel for this year? Uh, and using that experience to get you through this year? Um, I mean, not really. I mean, I look forward to each day and always getting better. So, like, I don't look on the past. Yeah, I acknowledge it and I won, so that was good. You know what I mean? But I try and focus on, like, every day at practice getting better and always learning, even in between these matches, always trying to learn. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's big wins, but I don't hold on to anything, really. Nate, any follow-up? I mean, I guess really, you know, can you put into words what you've been able to accomplish? Um, you know, you had a tough loss in your very first uh, collegiate match, and then here you are now, you're in the NCAA Finals. Yeah, um, that don't mean nothing, you know what I mean? Um, in life, you win some, you lose some, but it don't matter. I, I said it from the beginning, I'm the, I'm the best, so... I'm going to go out there and prove it. You know what I mean? I have the best coaches, have the best teammates. You know what I mean? And it goes past that too. You know what I mean? It goes to my family, my mom, my dad, they're here. You know what I mean? All my trainers, all my coaches. So it's really like, I don't believe in, um, it's self-made. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a team and, and, um, that's what it is. All right. Uh, Jacob Ferry at daily collegian. Yeah, Carter, you know, obviously coming off of, you know, you made the Big Ten title, now you're making the NCAA title. I mean, especially as a freshman, you know, how important do you think your red shirt and your gray shirt years have been for you to gain experience and to, you know, be prepared maybe beyond your years to be on big stages? Yeah, um, I would definitely say it helped, you know what I mean? I got a year in my belt to learn and, uh, and to grasp things, but, like, I'm not a guy to say, oh, like, I took a year off or this, this and that, you know what I mean? It don't matter, you know what I mean? If if you can breathe, you're ready to go. So it, it don't matter. Mike Finn, Win uh, Magazine. Uh, Carter, congratulations. The, well, there have been a lot of freshmen have had success in this tournament, as you know. Does it have anything to do with the fact that this is a year that is sort of an open year for everyone, that it won't count against eligibility, that therefore it takes some of the pressure off of your career at all? Um, I didn't hear too much what you said, but from what I got, I mean, I don't, I don't feel any pressure and our team doesn't feel any pressure. Like I said before, you know what I mean? We go to practice and, and we have the best guys everywhere. You know what I mean? Our coaches are still scrapping with us. So, I mean, when we go out here and wrestle these guys, it's kind of like fun. It's kind of like, like a playground, honestly, you know what I mean? Our guys don't get overwhelmed. You know what I mean? We're just having fun and, and going out there and doing what we love. You know what I mean? So, I mean, as far as pressure, you know what I mean? I don't, I mean, I don't see why it would make sense to have pressure. You know what I mean? We, it's we train every single day to, it's to do this moment, you know what I mean? So why well, have pressure and said you can have fun and, and go do your thing. Could I get one more question in to you, Carter? Yeah. And basically though, the fact that the NCAA is not counting this year against uh, your eligibility. Have you thought about that, how that's going to fit in your career at all? Uh, no, I mean, I'm just focused on this, on this national title. It's matched tomorrow, you know what I mean? And, um, each day, I'll take it. It's it's day by day, honestly. So I mean, I'm not too worried about that. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to be the greatest version of myself, and and be the best. So that's that's really much all to it. Thanks, Carter. Yeah. And closing us out, Jake Aferia. Yeah, Carter. You know, you talked about how it's been a team effort for you. You know, as one of the younger guys on the team, how have guys like Aaron and Nick and Roman? How have they sort of helped you along in this process and what to expect? Um. They just lead by example, you know what I mean? You go out there and watch Roman, he's doing his thing, and then you go out there and watch Nick, he's doing his thing, and then, of course, Aaron, he's, he's always doing his thing. So it's just like, I feel like those guys lead by example is, like, is big, you know what I mean? I know our team's young, but like I said before, I mean, it don't matter what age you are. So, I mean, it's, it's nice to have guys like that on our team, you know what I mean? And we always, always feed off each other, and I, I'm going to help the next guys, and I help our guys now. So, like I said, just always learning and, and always getting better every single second. 
Carter, thanks for making time to swing back and talk to us. Congratulations on your win, and we look forward to watching you wrestle tomorrow night. Yep, thank you. Is that it?